Hi, this is Paul from TradeTheFifth.com. I wanted to do something a little bit different in this video. I wanted to show you how to use TweetDeck uh, to help you with your stocks trading. I'm not saying these signals uh, that people will get uh, are, are actionable, but what I want to do is do something that we that we do, uh, myself and my trading team, to keep an eye on certain influencers within the market. So I've logged into my Twitter account here. You need to do that first because then we're going to open TweetDeck and we're going to add columns. Now, these columns are going to be influencers. There's different ways to find influencers. You know, you know, I'm considered an influencer in this particular uh, type of um, niche, if you like, with the market. So I've just done a Twitter live, for example, an hour ago. There's been 21 likes, 19 retweets. And there is people asking me questions. How do I register? Um, you know, blah, 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 and then, you know, all that sort of thing. So I'm an influencer. So you want to keep an eye out on people like me uh, that, you know, I've just put a Twitter live out there about my five hot stocks. What are those hot stocks? Let's have a look. Let's watch that video. I did one uh, last week on Microsoft or a breakout indicate for a breakout, and it broke out. I've done a couple of recently on uh, Twitter lives on Box, on Marriott. Those were massive winners. So you need to be uh, filtering out those uh, people that are going to give you some good tips that you can follow up on and do your own analysis. So in TweetDeck here, at the moment, you'll see I've got Mr. Trump because sometimes he'll say certain things. It'll move markets. It's always good to, to see uh, what's going off there, uh, especially around certain data points or um, U.S. industry data points, that sort of thing. Uh, what Mr. Trump's saying, because that might make you stay away from day trading that day, for example, depending on what's put it out. So simply, once you've got, to, once you've logged into your Twitter account, here's TweetDeck. Now, these two columns here are our stock swing trading alert service and day trading alert service. So these, this is a lot. And these are for our members only, as you can see here. But this is the sort of thing that we send out. So uh, we, you can see down here, um, you know, this was the, the swing trade alert for Microsoft, the time frame, the long entry, the stop entry there. Uh, we closed AMT that day for 25% profit times risk. We closed UMP for 135% profit. We closed IAC for 80. We closed Box. You know, we had a big winning day that day. We closed out a lot of swing trades took a lot of profit. We, took, we sent out some more orders as well. So again, if you were, was one of our members in the swing trading membership, you would have this feed on. Uh, you would have the alerts on your phone because you can get notifications as well. But you would have it in your tweet deck as well so you can see that constant feed coming out in real time. Now, obviously, I, you know, I'm an influencer. If this was your Twitter account, you would go to add a column here. You'd add a user and you would have me at at PBRAT be official there and you would add a column. So that's basically, that's me, uh, for example, what I'm tweeting out, uh, whether I've got, um, you know, um, that sort of thing um, to, you know, if I'm sending out a, a Twitter live or anything like that, that's my uh, timeline, if you like. So then how do we find other influencers? So if you're into stocks trading, go to hashtag stocks. When you're there, have a look, see who's, influential so this guy uh chris uh you know six hours ago he put a tweet out it's got 90 likes what's it about it's about more about the spy overall type markets whether it's bullish or bearish that sort of thing he's reasonably influenced let's have a look let's have a look at his his you know 44,000. not not quite as many followers as me uh let's have a look at the rest of his tweets do they get a lot of you know he gets quite a lot of reaction here put some good information out maybe he's the sort of guy to follow so copy and paste his twitter handle go back to tweet deck add a column add a user search for the user and search for him there and we'll add a column for chris there okay and now he's added to my tweet deck uh, let's look for one more so let's go back go back to stocks uh, I like this guy, Mystery Trader. He puts a lot of decent charts out, uh, and he's not just there. If we go to his timeline here, you know, I don't know this guy, don't know nothing about him, 
But what I do see is he's put a lot of chart, a lot of analysis in there, lots of different things, whether it's gold, uh, stocks, SPX, that sort of thing. A lot of people are interacting with there. He's got some good comments. I think, you know, he's a pretty, he's a pretty decent guy. Um, it, look, it looks like he knows what he's doing. He's doing some good support there. I mean, to be honest, for me, some of those uh, charts are a little bit overcomplicated, but the, the, you know, he's putting some good information out there. So for me, he's a reasonably good influencer and he's got some great ideas. He's got some great charts there. He's worth keeping an eye on. So let's copy his handle. Go back to TweetDeck. I'm going to add another column. I want to use it on a search for this mystery trader. And I want to add a column there. So it's that simple. What you want to do is build your tweet deck out with a few influencers. So if you're if you're a futures day trader, go and look for those influencers there. Use the hashtag uh, day trading or uh, the hashtag ES underscore F or whatever you trade. Try and find those that are putting out good charts, good analysis. Uh, and, you know, if you're a stocks trader, you're a swing trader, you know, my preferred uh, strategy is swing training stocks. You want an overall oversight of the market. What's going off overall? Uh, you know, so just, you know, this guy's just um, just made a comment on this, for example. You know, there's a lot of people commenting on this. There's a lot of this perspective that, that this guy's done uh, uh, on uh, SPX and SPY. So, you know, this guy's quite good. He's given an overall view of the market. A good thing to, to keep an eye on. Uh, and again, this mystery trader, you know, I've interacted with him a few times. He's got some good points there. And so, uh, you know, I, I don't know him, but I think uh, he does quite a good job. So I've added him there. So I just wanted to make this quick video to see that there are other influencers out there to to build up your tweet deck, just to have it running in the background so you can understand what other people are thinking about the market, because sometimes traders become very insular and they become the experts in their own head. Um, but you need to understand what's going off outside. What are the macro influences? You know, what's Mr. Trump doing? Because he influences the market quite a lot just lately. You know, what else is going on? I wouldn't go for the Bloombergs and the CNBCs. You know, they're, they're too, there's too much going through. You need to look for influences that, uh, that, that mold uh, certain things within your perspective of what you're trading. So if you're trading stocks, if you're day trading stocks, futures, Forex, that sort of thing. Go and do that investigation. Go to the hashtags and see who's doing what, okay? So again, just to remind you to do that, go to the main hashtags. Go to, uh, for example, if you're Forex trading, go to hashtag Forex. OK, see what the top tweets are. I mean, these guys, you know, some of these are, are quite influential. Uh, and But if you, if you don't see much on the tweets, they go to the people. Go and have a look. Forex Signal Factory, for example, is at the top there. So they're, they're quite a big influencer. Go and see what they do. Uh, OK, so they send signals out. If you're after signals, um, you know, these these guys are just sending out whether it's a profit or loss, you know, the it could be the right thing sort of thing for you and you would add them there they've got a lot of followers um i would say not all of those followers are are genuine because they, they would have more reactions to those but they've got decent reaction uh they've got signals there and if you're a forex trader you would add them to your tweet deck and you could follow there and you can set up alerts and everything like that so again i just wanted to show you how uh I and my training team actually uh, look at some other things within the markets, not necessarily just charts, but what other people are thinking there. Overall, on the, the wider SPX of SPY or specific stocks or Mr. Trump or whatever, you know, and me, I put out my Twitter lives probably every single day and I look at a stocks. Uh, a stock every day that I'm looking for a breakout or something like that. And a lot of them have been winners just lately. So, you know, you can get those little nuggets, if you like, from from Twitter, from people. Obviously, I would advise you to do all of your own analysis there. I put mine out before the markets, for example. So when I put my, um, the, where's the latest one here? So this one here, big one on Murray yesterday, breakout on Microsoft on my radar today. Quick video, tell you all about it. Uh, and, you know, and, you know, that's it. It's before the markets. You can do your own analysis. 
and see see what it's like. Uh, so that's that's me. There's other people that do things differently, um, but that's how I do it and my team do it because we look outside of those charts. We don't look at the major news channels because there's too much information. Just look for influence on Twitter. Use TweetDeck. It's free and it's a good tip. So have a great uh, trading day, a long weekend, wherever you are, whenever you're seeing this video. But please look at those other things that I gave you uh, to look at here on this short video.